Tom, you d so you did go into the, the military during World War II. Mm -hmm. How old were you? 18. 18. You joined when you were 18. Yeah, uh, no, 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 no. Clear that. Joined it. Clear I was drafted. You were drafted. Yeah. They joined me. Right, okay. And you were 18. Mm -hmm. Where, what happened? Where were you stationed? In the States. Uh, at the time, Camp Carson, Colorado, uh, Camp Hood. I went to uh, a train, special training at uh, Fort Riley, Kansas. Uh, those were the only camps that I was in. This is where I reported to go into the service. And like uh, Camp Shanks, going overseas. So you went overseas. Mm -hmm. Where were you? Italy first, and then we were got through with that campaign down there, and then they brought us back up to England and stayed there until D-Day. And I went over in the third wave. Oh my! But before that, you should. Tell um, that what you were trained to do first. I will. <laughs> there is so. <laughs> well, the reason I was in Carson, and I don't know why, but they, I was picked to go to Carson to train with these mules because they, this outfit was going to go to the Lusian Islands. And that was about the best thing they could use over there for transporting material, weapons, guns, ammunition, whatever. So you learned to work with mules. Was that hard? Are they a, what no, kind of, but it was a good education. You worked outside a lot, too. Oh, yeah. But working with mules, I found out the mule is smarter than you think mm -hmm. he is. That is a very smart animal. He is far from being dumb like everybody figured the mule is the dumb one. Because I know, see, the reason we were down there in Colorado, because we see we worked around Pikes Peak. And we'd have to go up those hills and everything else. And they'd have all this, these weapons and you, would be assigned to take these, this pile of stuff up so far or whatever else. Well, you didn't have a scale or anything, but if you put, I always said an ounce on the left side, more than you put on the right side, that meal ain't going nowhere. Had to be perfectly balanced. Mm -hmm. And you do that, He'd go anywhere you wanted him to go. And then after you got through and you took all that stuff off of him, you had to feed him and bed him down for night. <laughs> well, I have to take care then of him. you took care of yourself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he probably said the animal more than he did a human. Mm -hmm. 